What's going on, good people? Happy Wednesday to you. It's hope day. Hopefully everybody out there is having a wonderful start to your day. Of course, you know, waking up, speaking that positivity to yourself, getting yourself, getting your mind right. It's going to be a rainy day here today, so not as much sunshine. I got to prepare myself for that. I love the sunshine. It gives me energy. It makes me feel just happier throughout the day. But not going to get so much of that today, so I got to mentally get myself right and make sure I keep myself in a positive mindset, right? Because we have the power with our brains to control everything, you know, that's going on within us. Protection of our mind. Protection of our mind. It is important. And on that note, had a wonderful conversation yesterday with a friend that I've made from YouTube, actually. I know that's hard to believe that you can actually make real friends or, you know, real acquaintances that you feel like are actual positive people through YouTube, but that actually does happen if you allow it. Key words there, if you allow it. You got to be able to discern what you feel like a, you know, good positive person is and then if you allow it. So we had a wonderful conversation. It was supposed to be about five minutes. It ended up being probably closer to an hour. And just about, you know, different things going on. What we're seeing, what we're experiencing, you know, things like that. And I think a lot of people who have been around in this sector the same amount of time as that person and I, We'll probably stand in agreement on a lot of things. Now, there's a lot who would disagree as well. But it's all for different reasons because it all depends on your experience in the situation, right? So, what I want to talk about is what is the purpose of YouTube? What is the function of it? So, YouTube was created 2005 is when it went worldwide. That's when everybody, you know, across the world who has access to YouTube, that's when it launched worldwide. So, sorry. Um, with that being the case, what was the purpose and the function, you know, the function of it? What was its intended purpose? Now, I don't know what the creators intended YouTube to be, but I do know that back whenever most of us would go to YouTube back in the day, it would be to look for, say, a video on how to fix something, or how to make something. You know, people used to put a lot of their YouTube videos up of how to repair things, and people still do that, and a lot of people still, that is the main reason they use YouTube, is to go find, you know, how-to videos and fix-it videos, things like that. But over time, with their monetization and stuff like that, they've allowed in other types of content. And some people have taken the word content to mean basically any off the wall, random, maybe immoral thing that you can do to get attention. Content has been replaced with attention getting. People will do anything now. Set up what they call plays, the whether they're beefing with each other or not, or you know, whatever. People are doing all kinds of crazy things in the name of content. Failing to keep in mind the real world consequences of YouTube actions. There's some people who I believe are thinking that YouTube is this metaverse and that whatever happens over in, on YouTube land does not translate into real life. Well, you're sadly mistaken. You've seen multiple instances of people's YouTube rhetoric, behavior, atrocities causing them some kind of reprimand in real life. I mean, you've seen Cardi B and what she did to Tasha K. You've seen what YouTube itself has done to multiple people as far as getting their channels gone and not allowing them to get monetized and create channels on the platform anymore. 
that's removing a revenue stream from that person. There's multiple ways. You've seen people get killed behind the stuff that they're doing on YouTube because they're getting a little too cute and dropping their locations and things like that. You've seen multiple things happen to people because of their YouTube behavior. So if you're out here thinking that you can do, say anything you want because it's just on YouTube or you were just trolling or whatever that you Billy Badass or whatever the case may be, you are mistaken. And a lot of this stuff can and may come back to bite you. And just because you're not getting uh, disciplined or anything like that for it now does not mean the things that you have done in your past may not come back to cause you reprimand later. So, with that being the case, what are we doing here? As far as people in this sector who are making content or this also includes the people in the chat who, you know, get to typing and saying all kinds of things. That comes back to you too. Your identity is not totally anonymous. YouTube knows who you are. They know how to get in contact with you. Warrants can get that information. Your information is not just totally anonymous. So you have to be cognizant of what we are doing and keeping in mind that this stuff does translate to real life. Your YouTube persona is not something that you can just do anything you want with and then when you click end on your stream or whatever the case may be, all of that stuff cease to have happened and you just walk out your door into your real world life and nobody's the wiser. No, that's not the case. Whenever you decide to get on here and say things and type things and stuff like that and people figure out who you are or they see who you are because you're not hiding behind an avatar, that everything you say goes with you. All these words that I'm saying, if somebody sees me in the street and they've been watching my videos for however long I've been making my videos, they will remember something that I've said that I may not even remember. But they can go back to the video and pull it out and, and show that I said it. And they may have a problem with it or they may agree with it, whatever. But people remember the stuff that you say because you don't know what you're saying that resonates with another person that may stick with them. That's why whenever I'm talking about gardening or talking about the laws or any of the videos that I make where I'm trying to just share knowledge and educate our people, I'm just looking for one person to get it. If it resonates with one person, I feel like I'm doing something positive and helping another person to understand something that they need to know because you know most of the videos that i make whenever i'm doing something like that where sharing knowledge or education i choose topics that i feel like can help everybody so gardening everybody can benefit from growing their own food uh learning and studying the constitution everybody in america can benefit from knowing the laws and how they impact them these are the type of topics mental health everybody needs to understand their own mental health and what they can do to promote healthy things with their own mental health and what are distractions from positive mental health for them. Everybody needs to know that for themselves. What are you doing with your platform? I'm talking to you, content creators. What are you doing with your platform? Are you tearing down people? Are you keeping another person in the, your community? Because no matter what you think, your sector of people in YouTube is your community. That's your YouTube community. So are you keeping other people in your community from making money by tearing them down? What are you doing? Are you doing anything at all positive to benefit you, your community? Or is it just all to benefit you in your pockets? When you get the money, what are you doing with it? Are you doing anything to give back to your community? 
Are you spending it up on drinks and drugs or whatever else? What are you doing with your platform? These platforms are huge. We, the people who actually get on YouTube as content creators, when we are given a platform, we are entrusted with the ears of the people who are listening to us. Because we are filling their ears and their heads with words, information. No matter what, it's going in there. So they are having to process it. If they're hearing it, they're processing it. Some of it may stick. They may throw some of it away. But we are entrusted with that. What are you doing with it? Are you wasting people's time? Are you going on for two, three hours? And at the end of it, everybody just feels drawn down because you went on a tirade of tearing people down for two hours. Did they get any education out of it? Did they feel like they gained anything at all at the end of your live stream? I need some of these content creators to do some evaluation. I need to evaluate what is it that you're doing? What is your message? What is your purpose? What Maybe you need to evaluate what was your original purpose? Why did you decide to become a YouTube content creator? And are you still on your mission has your mission changed and if it has has it changed to something negative and is that a path you want to continue to go down do self-evaluation content creators you and i are trusted we are entrusted with these people's minds because they listen to us so we should be catalysts of building up their minds helping them build their own minds helping build a positive community Building something. When I came to YouTube, I came because I thought I was in a community that I was going to build something. And now I see that that community is not building anything. That community is about tearing each other down and uh, one or two people taking all of the money and not doing anything with it for the community or to build anything. That's what that community is about. And that's why I exited from that community. So I'm trying to build a community on my own, of my own. Yeah, I'm still in some other communities, but I'm trying to build a community of my own, a community that's about building stuff, whether it's just building knowledge of pe for people, positive knowledge, or whether we actually come together and start building actual communities, building community gardens, building homes if they're needed. Building whatever it is that we need because we all have the knowledge, information, and ability to take care of ourselves. But we got to stop putting so much focus in tearing each other down for the dollar. That's what's happening right now. A lot of tearing each other down for the dollar and it's not helping anybody. I'm going to get off my soapbox. Y'all make sure y'all take care of yourselves and each other. Make sure you get a seed planted in the ground. We're going to get some rain today. That's some free water. After we get this rain, the sun's coming back out. I'm sure my garden is going to explode. It already exploded after them last few days of rain we got last week. But it's going to really explode this week after uh, it gets some more rain uh, today. And then it gets that sun tomorrow. It's going to be the Amazon out there. And I'm going to love it because all of my uh, crops are starting to produce fruit. So this rain and that sun is going to be great for them. Y'all make sure y'all get yourself something planted. Have a wonderful day, good people. Do something positive for somebody. Say something positive to somebody. If you're a, a content creator, consider not going live today talking negative about other people. Even when the chat comes in there, hey, don't look at the chat. If you can't resist responding to what the chat says, then don't look at the chat. And tell yourself that you are going to control your actions and your attitude and you are not going to say a whole bunch of negative stuff about people today for the dollar. That's all I got, good people. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Until next time, this is Iceberg. Salute.